Alright guys, I think I know why Devour took a little nerf at the beginning of this season, but it really doesn't matter when we can combo it with any build like this Stasis Hunter you're watching right now. This is the 1840 Master Nightfall, and in a second you will see the end of the new coil activity where I didn't buy any class upgrades throughout it to show off the power of this build and how strong it really is. And I'm not gonna lie, I am still wrapping my head around the potential of all the future builds in Destiny because let me tell you right now, if I have access to Devour, so a 100 HP heal on every kill, and these kills can come from any source once you have Devour active, like our Shatter damage from our Crystals, or the Unravel and Threadling damage, and then I also get Grenade Energy back on every single kill too. Again, this comes from any damage source, and we get anywhere from 5 to 20% based on the type of enemy that we defeat and the ability that we're using, and then you're telling me that I can get that on any subclass with any build. You guys know how crazy that that is right just like i'm showing off in the gameplay right now on this stasis hunter but before we jump into everything we have a sponsor today speaking of awesome builds for you all i have partnered with apex gaming pcs to bring you all my personal line of pcs that i think you will really enjoy with the holiday season fast approaching this is the perfect time to take a look at pcs and apex has also recently partnered with bread so if you want to finance your purchase you can buy a pc right now and pay later with bread a perfect combo for the holidays we have three different tiers of pcs to make sure you all can get exactly what you're looking for to fit your style and budget. These models are the crew, the first mate, and the captain. Click the link at the top of the description or in the pinned comment, and you can use the code PLUNDER at checkout for up to 15% off your entire purchase. If you all are looking for a new PC, then give Apex PCs a shot. I know you guys will find something that you're looking for. Okay, so the first thing we have to talk about is our dust field grenade. This creates that dome and it slows and freezes targets over time. It has a minute and 30 second cooldown, so it's one of the fastest in the game. And since the updates in Season of the Wish, anything that adds to that ability regen is going to be a much higher percentage for this ability since it has a lower cooldown. With our dust field grenade, we take the touch of winter aspect. This increases the slow field size, so a bigger dome, and creates a small stasis crystal in the middle on impact. For the second aspect, you just want to take Grim Harvest. Basically, for the three fragment slots, and also when we defeat slowed or frozen combatants, we'll create stasis shards. And this will grant us melee energy and our allies melee energy as well. And speaking of that melee, you are going to take Withering Blade, the only option. You get two charges of these shurikens. They did get a couple nice buffs this season. Now when we add these five fragments in, this is where things start to get really interesting. The first one is Whisper of Chains. When we're near a frozen target or our stasis crystal, we'll take 40% less damage from everything. So essentially think of this as Woven Mail. Next we're going to take Whisper of Refraction. Defeating slowed or frozen targets grants you class ability energy. Everything on the battlefield will be slowed and frozen from your massive dust fields and your shurikens. Next we take Whisper of Fissures, increase the damage and size of the burst of stasis when we destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target. It just adds overall damage and add clear to the build. And then we take Whisper of Durance. Slow that you apply to targets lasts longer, and for those abilities that linger, their duration will also increase. This puts our dust field up to 15 seconds instead of 9, so it makes it last quite a bit longer out on the field. And then lastly we take Whisper of Shards. Shattering a stasis crystal will temporarily boost your grenade recharge rate. This goes up to to a 10 second timer and don't quote me on this but i believe this is also a 400 percent increase but this thing gets your grenade back so fast so from the subclass alone we're creating massive dust fields we're slowing and freezing everything we get a ton of melee energy for defeating slow to frozen targets class ability for defeating slow to frozen targets and grenade for shattering stasis crystals plus a 40 percent damage reduction on top of that now with that 40 percent damage reduction we do want to take 100 resilience for stats on the build 100 resilience makes a big difference on any character in any activity you're doing. It's just more damage you can take. Next, you want to pump up your discipline, and then if you have some extra stats, you can put them into mobility. Now, the exotic armor we're going to take with all of that is the Renewal Grasps. These have the Depths of Dustfield perk. A lot of you guys know what this is. Our dust fields have a much larger effect radius, so now they're even bigger, which stacks on the aspect we're using. And then allies inside the dust field, when you're standing in there, take reduced damage, and targets that are inside the area deal reduced damage. So you're adding more resistance to you and your fire team, and then basically debuffing the enemies as long as they're in it as well, to deal less damage to you. This stacks with our 100 resilience, and it stacks with the 40% from Whisper of Chains damage reduction. So you get a ton of damage reduction as long as you're near a crystal inside the dome, and then icing on the cake is if an enemy is inside the dome as well. But the problem with the Stasis Hunter in the past was yes, it has great damage reduction and crowd control, but not the best healing. Bungie nerfed Whisper of Rhyme a while back, and that was your main source of healing, but Bungie added in a great new exotic this season called the Bloodline. Now I'm not sure 
sure what other people think of this exotic, but I'm telling you right now, it is so much better than you think. And if you're playing Destiny and Season of the Wish right now and plan to play it when the final shape comes out, I urge you to get this weapon because it really is that good. This is one of those game-changing weapons in my opinion. Now it has the trait on there, Violent Reanimation. Multiple final blows with this weapon grant Devour to the wielder. Now it's not even rapid final blows. I went and tested this and it's only four final blows on red bar enemies. They don't have to be like quickly back to back or anything like that. They can be spaced out, but that's just it. Four final blows. Also when you come up against a yellow bar enemy, any other enemy that's higher than the red bar actually procs Devour on a single kill. So even just your normal yellow bar enemies will proc this will proc Devour in one kill. So now we just added Devour to any build that we combine this with. That's that 100 HP healing on every kill like I went over from every source and grenade energy on every kill from any source. This also doubles fire tracking bolts and landing bolts leeches health from the target. So if you're just fighting a boss and Devour isn't even up, you're constantly healing by dealing damage, which is really cool. And it actually deals decent damage. And the super regen you get for dealing damage with this is a lot. If you go do a side-by-side -side comparison, this thing gets close to Wish Ender super damage. I'm not joking. And we also have a catalyst with it, which I did get and unlocked. While Devour is active, this weapon weakens on hit. That's really nice when you have it active because when you come up against a champion, just shoot him once with this. That applies the weakened debuff and then switch to your rocket. And there you go. 15% extra damage you're doing all the time. So again, play the new dungeon this season. It's a really fun dungeon. It's much easier than you guys think. You can LFG it with no comms super easy from the Destiny Discord or the new Find a Fire team inside Destiny itself. And it's so worth your time. I normally don't say much about weapons in general, but this one I'm telling you, you guys should get. Now, since I've been talking so long already, I'm going to put the mods up on screen for you. You can also click on the Mobilitics link down below where you can see all the mods hover over them. And really, you just want to spec into that grenade regen. And then I also went with Avoid Reserves, Avoid Scavenger, and then Avoid Siphon mod. So I get extra ammo, find extra ammo, create orbs with it, and then a special ammo finder as well. You do want to make sure you keep up your ammo in the weapon. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. And I think you guys won't go wrong with testing this build and going for that new exotic, the Bloodline, because it really is that good. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.